Hey Jonathan, the teacher just gave me a solo part in her new piece for jazz band and I'm going to need a flashy new trumpet. Okay, what do you want it to look like? I want it to look like the graph of 1 over x from 1 to infinity rotated about the x-axis. I'm on it! We're done! Wait, shouldn't we paint it first? Oh, you're right. What color do you want? Let's have it metallic blue. To paint it, we'll have to find its surface area to find out how much paint we need. To do that, we'll find the area by using an integral. The equation for circumference is c equals 2 pi r. So when we make that an integral and replace infinity with a, it becomes surface area equals 2 pi times the integral from 1 to a of 1 over x dx, which is equal to 2 pi times the natural log of a. Since a goes to infinity, we'll take the limit as a approaches infinity of 2 pi times the natural log of a, which equals infinity inches squared. Oh no, we don't have an infinite amount of paint. What are we going to do? I have an idea. Why don't we fill the trumpet with paint and let the new composite porous metal soak it through? We'll first need to find the volume by using an integral. The equation for the area of a circle is a equals pi r squared. When we take the integral of that, we get the volume is equal to pi times the integral from 1 to a of 1 over x squared dx, which equals pi times 1 minus 1 over a. So what we need to do is take the limit of a to infinity. So the limit as a goes to infinity of pi times 1 minus 1 over a is equal to pi cubic inches of paint. Oh good, Jonathan, do you have a pi cubic inch bucket of infinitely divisible paint lying around? Yeah, it's over here in the corner. Pour it carefully. Yay! It worked! Thanks, Jonathan. Where'd you say the mouthpiece was? Do you need to borrow my TARDIS?